Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From a magnificent lost treasure to haunted underground vaults, here are 10 incredible archaeological discoveries made by accident. Number 10. The Crushed Sarcophagus Archaeologists made a rare and shocking discovery during construction work on a natural gas pipeline. In the Jezreel Valley in Israel, they discovered a 3,300-year-old 3, Egyptian sarcophagus complete with human bones and numerous treasures. This was the first time in 50 years that a coffin like this has been discovered in Israel, and it happened completely by mistake. The clay coffin was found with the naturalistic impression of a man's face on the lid. The man was depicted with the Egyptian hairstyle of the time and had his hands crossed over his chest. Surrounding his burial coffin was pottery, storage vessels, and the bones of animals. Within the coffin was the man's skeletal remains, a bronze dagger, and an incredibly rare Egyptian scarab seal from the time of Pharaoh Seti I with the seal encased in gold and attached to a ring. This type of ring was as significant back then as a Super Bowl ring would be today. The seal featured a winged cobra, a sign of protection for the pharaoh and his name. Archaeologists aren't exactly sure who the coffin belonged to. However, the excavation director, Dr. Ron Berry, has suggested that the remains could have belonged to a wealthy Canaanite, not an Egyptian. The man could have been in service to the Egyptian government, or perhaps was a wealthy local who imitated the same customs as the Egyptians. Number 9. Woolly Mammoth Bones James Bristle, a farmer from Michigan, was working with his neighbor to dig a drainage pipe in his wheat field when he struck something hard with his backhoe. The object was about 8 feet underground, and at first, the farmers thought they had merely hit an old buried piece of wood, probably an annoying old fence post. But after a bit of digging, it turned out that they had stumbled upon a giant bone. They knew immediately that they'd happened upon something great. The bone was far larger than anything that could have belonged to a cow or a horse. Their first thought was that it was a dinosaur bone, so they contacted the University of Michigan Museum of Paleontology, which is conveniently located only 10 miles from where they were. A professor named Daniel Fisher arrived at the farm with a team of 15 students, and they quickly realized that they were looking at one of the best preserved woolly mammoth skeletons ever found. I wish I had been in that class. That sounds awesome. They dug a huge excavation pit around the discovery, and what they uncovered was nothing short of amazing. In just a single day, the crew managed to excavate 20% of the bones that once belonged to the prehistoric beast. They hoisted the mammoth's huge skull and tusks and carted them away on a flatbed trailer, along with ribs, shoulder blades, and even vertebrae. The remains have yet to be dated, but experts believe the mammoth was a fully grown male that likely lived between 15,000 and 11,700 years ago. They also believe it was probably around 40 years old when it died. To date, only about 30 prehistoric animals have been found in Michigan, but the one in this wheat field was by far the best. Number 8. The Tomb of Childeric In May of 1653, a mason was working on a project near the Church of St. Bryce in Belgium. He was about eight feet underground in the darkness with nothing but a pickaxe when he accidentally stumbled upon a huge collection of treasure. There was a gold buckle and at least 100 gold coins, around 200 silver coins, human bones including a pair of skulls, a whole heap of rusted iron, and an amazing sword with a gold grip and a hilt sheathed in a decorated scabbard. And that was only the beginning. There was much more to be found in what would come to be known as the Tomb of Childeric. There were jewels made of gold and garnet, a gold bull's head, and a ring with the name of the king inscribed on it, which helped to identify the mysterious tomb. There were also 300 golden bees. The treasure caused quite the stir, and an archduke and his physician carefully recorded and documented everything in 1655. Then the archduke took the treasure to Vienna, and it was passed on to King Louis XIV of France as a gift. He didn't really appreciate it and stored it away. Since then, most of the artifacts have gone missing, lost and stolen over the years. In 1831, thieves broke into the National Library where a lot of treasure was kept and stole away into the night. They were soon caught and confessed that they had melted down the larger pieces and thrown the rest of it into the Seine. Incredibly, some artifacts were then fished out of the river. About 75 of the 80 kilograms of stolen artifacts were recovered but many of the missing pieces were from the treasure of Childeric. While most of the treasure is now gone, thankfully we know what it looked like due to the carefully recorded descriptions and copies made in 1655. Some of the bees reappeared, 
and Napoleon himself took them as his heraldic symbol. Childeric's bees became the new symbol of the French Empire. Number 7. The Most Mysterious Mummy During an operation to expand a local street in 2011, workers found the remains of a high-ranking woman from the Ming Dynasty, dating back to over 700 years ago. She was found in excellent condition, about six feet underneath the surface of the road. People had been driving over where she rested for decades. The road workers immediately reported the find, and archaeologists came out to excavate. They were extremely surprised at how well preserved she was. Her skin, hair, eyelashes, everything looked like she had just recently died. The woman was discovered inside a pool of brown liquid within her coffin. Whatever the mysterious substance was, the liquid must have been responsible for her fantastic preservation. Her skin and even her clothes were in almost perfect condition. She was found wearing traditional garb from the Ming Dynasty, and her burial also revealed ancient writings and other impressive relics. Her clothes were even made from silk, suggesting she was someone of great wealth and maybe authority. However, even all these years after her discovery, archaeologists are still not entirely sure who the woman was or why she had been given such a remarkable burial. Number 6. The Jesus Boat In 1986, two fishermen named Moshi and Yuval Lufan discovered an artifact known as the Ancient Galilee Boat, or the Jesus Boat sitting at the bottom of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. During a severe drought, they found the boat sticking out from the mud, which was normally covered with water. While at first the fishermen mistook the artifact for a modern fishing vessel, it was in fact a 2,000-year-old boat. Radiocarbon dating placed it at being crafted sometime around 40 BC and 50 AD. The boat measured 27 feet long and was built out of around 10 different types of wood. This indicates that there must have been a wood shortage at the time or that the boat was made using a lot of different scraps. But what's really interesting is that the style in which the boat was constructed is consistent with the descriptions from Roman authors, the Bible, and even from ancient mosaics of the time. It took the Israel Antiquities Authority 12 days to clear the mud away and get the ancient boat to safety. And since then, some people have been claiming that this very boat is the same one that Jesus and his disciples used in the first century AD. And while there is no proof of it, some people are convinced it is sacred. If you want to see it for yourself, you can visit the ancient Galilee boat at the Yigal Elon Museum in Israel. Number 5. Roman Villa in a Barn A farmer in Wiltshire, UK was removing the floor in his barn to lay a cable when, to his surprise, he found a mosaic. He stopped his renovation work and took a photo of it to send to the local council. Within 24 hours, archaeologists came to his home to learn more about the amazing find. They carefully excavated the area, and it turns out that the mosaic was part of the floor of a much larger Roman building. Over the course of eight days, they continued to carefully reveal the site, which was one of the largest villas to ever be found in the country. It's thought to have been built at some point between 175 and 220 AD, and was three stories tall. The dig also found a wide variety of artifacts like brooches, coins, pottery, and even a trash area filled with oyster shells. This indicates that whoever lived in this enormous house was extremely wealthy, with a large mosaic and imported oysters. Perhaps the villa belonged to a governor, or even an emperor. Number 4. The Serdica Ruins The capital city of Bulgaria stands on the ruins of many ancient cities from thousands and thousands of years ago. The modern buildings of Sofia tower above what used to be the settlement of Serdica, a once powerful seat of a Thracian tribe. Occupation dates way back to the Neolithic period. The settlement of Serdica was eventually replaced after being conquered by Alexander the Great and later on by the Romans, but its history remains. In 2010, excavations to build a metro line through the now modern city revealed archaeological discoveries spanning 600 years of occupation. It was completely unexpected, and two teams of archaeologists working with both the National Archaeological Institute and the Sofia History Museum got to work extracting and labeling the amazing finds. While building the metro station, the archaeologists found pottery dating back to prehistoric times, amazing Roman artifacts, and even pieces of an early Christian basilica built near the end of the 4th century and later destroyed by the invasion of the Huns 100 years later. Basically, an entire underworld of ancient relics was found beneath the city streets of Sofia and can now be seen inside the finished metro station in a small but impressive museum. Number 3. The Edinburgh Vaults the Edinburgh vaults are considered to be one of the most haunted places in all of the United Kingdom. That's saying a lot. 
These vaults are a series of underground chambers formed by the 19 individual arches of Edinburgh's South Bridge in Scotland. It all began in 1788 when a bridge was proposed to link High Street with the famous University of Edinburgh. The bridge was built and many businesses ended up getting displaced and having to move underneath the arches, where it was dark and dank and often filled with water. Within just 30 years, the vaults were abandoned by all legitimate businesses. Immigrants fleeing from the potato famine in Ireland moved into the underground vaults and slowly it turned into a horrifying criminal district. There was rampant disease, widespread gambling and all kinds of wicked activity. And apparently people who died in the vaults were sold to the nearby medical school. However, in the 1860s, the vaults were filled with rubble to stop people from coming around anymore. Then everyone just kind of forgot about it until a chance excavation in the 1980s revealed the forgotten tunnels. During a construction project, workers found buttons, horseshoes and old toys, reminders of what once was. The tunnels were then opened back up and turned into a tourist attraction. Visitors feel gusts of cold air, hear women singing and children screaming, and there are several ghosts and spirits. Would you visit the mysterious vaults? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. The Banwell Bone Cave In 1757, miners accidentally broke into a cave system that would later prove to be an archaeological wonder. Nothing was found in the beginning, and it wasn't until around 70 years later in 1824 that the local ruling powers decided to turn the cave into a tourist attraction to raise money for a local school. It was then, while workers were trying to make a tunnel so that visitors could navigate the cave more easily, that this second cave was discovered, what would come to be known as the Banwell Bone Cave. The reason this cave is such an interesting discovery is that within its cramped and dark passages, scattered across the floor were the bones of bears, reindeer, wolverines, and all kinds of other animals that lived from the beginning of the last ice age, 50 to 80,000 years ago. Besides all of these remains found in what is called the Bone Cave, another was discovered off the main chamber in the 1950s and later nicknamed the Ruby Chamber for its red walls. There is another cave called the Stalactite Cave, which is full of dramatic formations and large mineral deposits. A skeleton and dagger with gold were also found on the property, indicating that the cave system was probably used by people many years ago. Now the Ice Age bones can be found in collections around the world. Number 1. The Underground City In 1963, a man living in the Cappadocia region of Turkey decided to do some home renovations. He knocked down a wall in his basement and fell into what would turn out to be one of the most incredible archaeological discoveries of all time. Behind the wall in this man's basement was a secret tunnel to the underground city of Derinkuyu. The hole in the wall led archaeologists into a massive underground city about 200 feet below the ground that had initially been designed to hold roughly 20,000 residents and their livestock. The city had churches, a school, food storage areas, it had wineries, vents to the surface for air, and hidden entrances all throughout the nearby hills. The city was designed to hide the inhabitants of the region during a siege as there was enough room for the people and their food to hold out for a significantly long time in case they were under attack. And the whole time, the invaders would have had no idea that the people were right below their feet. The city was probably fully built by the Byzantine era when it was used during the Arab-Byzantine Wars from 780 to 1180. During the 14th century, the Christians went underground. Even up until the 20th century, the locals would use the underground cities to escape persecution. In 1923, the Christians were expelled from Turkey and moved to Greece, and the underground city was forgotten. National Geographic reports that a housing construction project has unearthed another large underground city that may even be bigger than Derinkuyu. Construction workers demolishing homes found a network of rooms and tunnels. Like Darien Kuyu, the site was enormous and self-sustaining with water and air shafts. When an enemy came, locals would flee underground, taking their livestock and blocking the tunnels with large round stone doors. There are probably many more that have yet to be revealed. Thanks for watching! What's the coolest thing you've ever stumbled upon by accident? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!